What's going on guys, Mitch here, and today we're taking a look at a pair of shoes from Specialized. A uh, quick macro shot of the uh, little thing that I'm going to be looking at the shoes on, but uh, you get a nice little view of what I'll be working on my magic cutting board. Uh, S-Works shoe, wanted to get the box in it. We've got the S-Works torch, if you guys have uh, seen. Um, these are apparently a pretty sweet shoe, lots of them on the World, to world Tour. Let's get into the box. Comes in a real cool little bag. It's kind of unusual. I don't know if I've seen a shoe bag before. Which is cool. Uh, shoe manual as well, in case uh, you know you guys want to check out how to uh, you know which which shoe goes on which foot. Really technical information, I imagine. All jokes aside, there's a bunch of stuff on mounting cleats, uh, warranty, etc. Different languages. Have fun with that. So let's take a look at the box. So let's take a look at the bag here. We've got obviously that S-Works logo, which is cool. It's vented very much like a helmet bag, which is awesome if you're traveling with shoes, just so they don't get disgusting. But let's actually uh, zoom in on the shoes here and take them out of the bag and take a look. So I don't know how much this bag is going to be seeing use, which is cool. So let's get rid of it. All right, enough playing around with the view. So here we go. We've got the shoes now uh, out of the box, unwrapped, and for you guys to take a look. So they are offered in a bunch of different colors, configurations, etc. And in the torch line, they have a few different versions. This being the S-Works torch. So my understanding is the S-Works version has a stiffer sole, and obviously carbon, and looks like some beautiful, uh, you know, starlight in my opinion. Um, just joking about that, obviously. But, um, you know, if you've watched the channel for a while, you'll have known that I run uh, almost exclusively either Physique or uh, City. Uh, both are great because they're, they tend to be a little narrower. And uh, I know that that brand, or those brands, have kind of changed a little bit. And they're starting to kind of widen things out. And, uh, it made me kind of look a little bit for another brand to look at. Um, S-Works is something obviously I have a mic specialized that you guys uh, would be well aware of at this point. And, um, you know, I just figured give S-Works, give Specialized a shot. Um, I was also looking at some of the uh, Shimano shoes and I would kind of paint, you know, the S-Works and the Shimano kind of in the same bracket. Uh, both very high-end shoes uh, on paper, especially price-wise, but I've never really tried them. So these guys came up at a really good sale, and um, I think right now they're offered in black, white, kind of a forest green camo color, and then this real cool kind of blue to black fade. So I figured, hey, let's try this guy out. Um, I can't remember the discount, but it was pretty substantial enough to uh, at least give it a try. I got to try this on at a local shop and um, fits really well. I, I thought it'd be a lot wider in the front and uh, I just think it's more in line with kind of the norm nowadays. So uh, it fits really well and uh, let's kind of get into it. So starting things off we can see here that we've got uh, these beautiful uh, metal boas. That is my first time having metal boas on a shoe. So I don't know if that's any good, any bad, or what. I don't know if it's like an Li2, Li5, Li3. I don't know what it is. Uh, I can tell you in hand, it's super smooth, both in and out. And operating them, like I just showed, uh, there's no lift tabs or anything like that. It's literally just loosen or tighten. And the ratchets feel really close together, which I'm assuming is going to correlate to a better fit when it comes down to it. Um, if you look at kind of how the shoe is actually pulling the straps together, you don't normally see this kind of setup where it zigzags. And that's to kind of break the fold line, which is a really nice little thing that they're doing. So as you tighten it down, it's not folding over itself. It's kind of engineered into the, the design of it, which is cool. And also, you're probably going to want to be able to judge the gaps based on that right there, which is, which is awesome. Um, the tabs, I'm assuming, you can usually undo that if you really wanted to. Or is it fed through? I can't tell. Uh, it might just come right off. 
if you wanted to change that buckle. There you go. Pretty simple. Comes right off. You know, my whole thing is if you are doing uh, metal on the buckle, it would have been kind of cool to see metal on these little plastic tangs or whatever. But, you know, it really doesn't matter a whole lot in that regard. On the sole, if we get into this, as we can see, the cleat moves forward and back. Uh, no side to side. Uh, some people are starting to wonder why, like some shoe designers are actually doing that now. Uh, we can also see, if we get real close, we have some lines. And that's going to help when you're doing your cleats. So you can kind of match things up uh, consistently between both shoes. Um, don't always rely on that same between brands and stuff, but just between shoes, sometimes it's nice to have those lines for orientation for especially your initial fit. Anyway, but the cleats in here, they do slide around. I don't know if I can do that now, but they, you can just tell they move around, so I'm not going to bother. And then on the toe, we've got a nice little vent. Just beneath the liner, which I believe is foam as well. And usually you can pull these guys out and take a look at that liner. I've heard that they're very vented liners. Like a, like a foam that's kind of cut up a little bit. It would stiff too. Normally it's not at all. Well, there you go. So yeah, the liners has some perforations cut out to allow air and that's nice. It's a nice little feature. And uh, <clears throat> there was built-in arch support here as well, which I'm really surprised to see. It actually has some pretty good stiffness to the, to the liner. Um, on the inside of the shoe, we can see that the heel is replaceable. God, I'm just, the light's killing me here. Uh, as we can see, there's a little bolt in the heel there that will replace the heel in the event that you need to do that. I can't see that really being too much of an issue out in the uh, real world, but if you want to, you can. Nothing replaceable in the front, which is pretty standard. All the seams around the toe, if it wants to focus, there's per perforations all over the place really well ventilated and uh, you'll definitely see two kind of materials right i'm assuming right if you're looking at the outside of the shoe this is more breathable here than it is here and it looks like they've added some material to the inside toe probably for scraping your crank arms that's smart because your your big toe is usually the side kind of up here that you get a lot of the wear which is awesome you've got a nice little s works logo on the heel so that your uh, your crit rows they definitely know what you're running, which is awesome. Just kidding. And then just kind of the overall feel of this shoe. It's uh, it's a lot higher quality than I was expecting. So I don't know what I was really expecting, but I was expecting the quality to be, you know, probably in the physique realm. I'm actually pleasantly surprised. And I'm, I will say this, they feel higher quality than physique shoes. And at about or around the city area, I'm really surprised on that. Now the heel doesn't have any adjustable tension like the uh, the cities do, but just from trying the shoe on um, previously, I know that that's not going to be a problem. It fits well. It's uh, it's a well-engineered shoe, and there's a reason people wear these things all the time. Um, so I'm excited to try them out. I uh, will say one thing that's a little bothersome is on the heel, there's no reflection that I can tell. And I know that the cities, uh, they tend to put little reflectors kind of built into the heel. Uh, just one thing if you're riding at night to be concerned of, if, uh, if that is your thing, just be aware that there is not a big reflective strip unless that specialized logo is moving uh, and, and kind of shining. Let's get a light and actually see that and see if it has any kind of reflecting ability. I believe it does. There you go. So uh, just that little guy, but it'd be nice if it was red, but... On a blue shoe, not a big deal. They'll probably think you're the Popo. Um, these guys are a size 46 and a half, and on the physiques and the cities, I am a 46 and a half, so um, kind of kept it the same, and they fit just about the fine compared to all the others. So I'm trying to think if there's anything I've missed. I've talked about the boas. I've talked about the toe, uh, extra material. Um, we've got, obviously, I should probably show that as well on the inside, so that same material on the toe is also on the sides where your crank arm would also be rubbing. Once again, just a really intelligent design idea. And uh, the carbon sole is as, apparently as stiff as they make. It's their S-Work sole, and I want to say it's on a scale of, I think, up to 15 or 15 and a half or something. It is the top stiffest whatever that they make. So, 
it, it doesn't move. Uh, whether that is like that out on the road, um, I will be the first to tell you my honest take on this as soon as I mount some cleats up and try it out. Um, in fact, I'm filming this video the day I'm getting the shoe because I am so excited to go try them out. Um, the materials itself feels really, really, really well done. Surprisingly well done from, from what I was expecting. And uh, like compared to the physique, it's definitely uh, a, a notch above in fit and finish, which is awesome. So I think I will leave you guys there. That is the specialized uh, torch or S-Works torch shoe. And uh, the next time you see these guys, they will be definitely in use on the bike. And uh, you'll see them out on the road and I'll tell you what I think. So thanks for stopping by. If you have any questions, uh, leave them below. I watch every single video, or sorry, I watch every single comment, read every comment, and reply to every single one. So if there's any questions um, prior to uh, me writing these or whatever, let me know. Uh, otherwise, you will see these in the vlogs ASAP. All right, guys. Talk to you later.